Hello everyone, here with another LEGO Star Wars review, and this one is on the Armorer's Mandalorian Forge, of course. <coughs> so on the front of the box here, have the LEGO and Star Wars logos, and that interesting border that we've seen for a good bit of time, and indication that it's a Mandalorian set there, and picture of the whole set that there is, and Disney logo, all the minifigs there are. And age recommendation is 8 and up, set number 75319, has 258 pieces. So then flip on to the back, you see we, another view of it, and a couple of features of it, and the logos again. And, yeah. and now onto the booklet, with the same pictures on the front of the box and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set. And then after the Skywalker Saga game. And after the minifig list of this current summer wave. And some other Mandalorian sets. And the last building stacks. To the mini figs included with this set. So, like we which have the Mandalorian, of course, there's a which the Baskar armor version starting to get a little repetitive at this point, but yeah, but also do get the armor armor. Of which well captures her in you know, well quite good appearance as to her in the show. I mean, well captures it, but just without the fur collar or that there is, and also the helmet piece, kind of the same as Gar Saxon in this current wave, but good reprint or good printing and coloring, of which nice. And also we get Paz Vizla, of which also great looking fig like. Some good printing to it in this sand blue color and the same armor piece that we've seen on some other figs in this wave. And also with the Mandalorian symbol on it, of course. And also does get some, has a brick build backpack piece, of course. And also this time, Mando has does out the actual jetpack piece, which he uses most times in Season 2 and also the end of Season 1, of course. And whereas with all these figs of which, of which other, besides that, some good back torso printing on armor, of course. Whereas with all these figs of which, there's, see, all plain black heads. Like, why not just give some, like, regular face printing, which would have been better, but, uh, for, and as for their accessories, of which, has the... Little clip tool and also little hammer, which like we've seen in most uh, castle blacksmith sets, and yeah, and also the traditional uh, gun piece with a little extended rod on it or pin on it, of course. <coughs> and of course, man, and of course his gun of which or rifle of which, same as it's been since 2019, but yeah. Which good selection of figs and yeah. So now on to the uh, forge place itself, of course. So which quite common, like most small place sets these days. As you can see, whereas the back part quite bare and vacant, and, but of course, and the only detail that there is is this sticker with the Mandalorian symbol on it. Of course, and of course, walk through that archway, and then do you get this whole area? Of course, but also, like a couple other sets, is 
like the Raptor escape set is where it kind of clips onto there. So it's a little bit modular, but let's look at it one at a time. <coughs> so like this back section of which, which as he has the ice skate piece, but used as a sharpener and also plain Mandalorian sim or helmet there, or of course, and good snot right here or with that angling piece and also it's all on the like on that a plate piece it's like the ninjago mech dragon and all and also if we get to this other section is so he does have some interesting technic build to it like this pointing down and about to melt that gold bar or otherwise uh, credit of course Also, as I zoom in, which I'm not sure if you can notice this, but this blue uh, cylinder piece does have a Mandalorian. It does have the Mandalorian on it, of course, probably to represent his hologram, of course. Although it could have worked out as a, a nano fig like Princess Leia's one did, but. Maybe that would have been a little too much, but whatever. And that there's very few stickers in this set. So those two panels are on slopes are stickers, of course. And as for this middle section, where you can open up. And then there's the little clamp thing that she uses to grab onto, of course. But not sure why not include it as an actual piece, but whatever. And can detach it as well and if you take it off then it's a pair of crates holding things in it like one of which has a credit in it and one has a silver blaster and a thermal detonator and it's all on one single stud of course and now on to the forge section itself which as you can see he has that little section where or a little table for Mando to sit out on and drink some of that of course in the forge section quite round of course and also do get a lot of the like flame pieces in blue but to of course represent pilot light flames of course and also quite a few spaces to put your little cauldron onto of course And also, and yes, those markings around are all stickers, of course, but good thing there's very few stickers in this set. And also another feature is this thing kind of does swivel back and forth. And so you can have easy reach to it, of course. And also, well, well accomplished with a couple of technique pieces, and also a little sn single snot technique. And also, you can see a few clips, and one of which holding a blacksmith hammer to a core. And of course, where you, you can add some of the other uh, tools from the armor on, of course. And you get this and clip it on that. So, although a little qualm with it is. Try and lift it up, and it tends to do that. But all you can kind of put a couple of plates underneath there if you want, but yeah. And with the fake switch right here, it does make a good display piece, of course. And so now on to the final vert. So overall, this I think of which a, a so act, anyways, this is which a pretty good set for what it is like, two exclusive figs and also a good, and also flame pieces in blue 
a course, uh, and of course also important uh, scene in some episodes of The Mandalorian, of course. <coughs> and as for the Peace Counter, which, and also this, which, a quite good beef up version of Trouble at Tatooine from earlier in this year, where, you know, it was kind of small for the $30 range, but this also feels like it's worth the $30 range, of course. And also the way it's put out, built together, uh, done quite well. And, and also plenty of good playability to it, and yeah. And if you're looking to get this set for your Mandalorian collection, definitely pick this up. And if you are looking for a new playset to put on, put in your displays, then also definitely pick up. And also, if you want the armor and Paz Vizsla, also definitely pick this set up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.